Welcome to CarVinci Resolve. My mission is to help editors create stunning car edits without spending even one pound or wasting endless hours with editing. And today I want to introduce my Ultra Motion Blur plugin, which I also used on this edit to get the smooth motion blur. Let's hop right into DaVinci Resolve. I have this clip right here from Sutra Edits and I want to apply a speed ramp and also motion blur on it. Now to do that go to the first link in the description then you will get to my ultra plugins. Here you can see the speed ramping plugin and the ultra motion blur plugin. I highly recommend to first buy the speed ramping plugin and then the ultra motion blur plugin because if you do that you will get a discount on the motion blur plugin. Now as you can see in the preview there's an automatic mode and a manual mode but I will show you that in a minute. So to get the plugin just click on buy now and download it. Then just open your download folder, double click the drfx file and open DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci will ask you if you want to install it, just click on install and then you can find it in your effects library under effects, CarVinci Resolve and there it is. Now as you can see it's the Ultra Motion Blur plugin 2.0, that's because I updated this motion blur plugin. So if you already bought it, just go to the download page and download it again. Now before I will add that, I will quickly just add my speed ramping plugin and just by adding it I will automatically have a simple speed ramp on it. And now I want to apply motion blur in the beginning and in the end where the speed ramp is happening. To do that, I just have to apply my motion blur plugin. I will quickly just close the effects library and in the inspector under effects, I can see the speed ramping controls and down here, I can also see the motion blur controls. Just double click on that and now they will open. On default, it's on the manual mode. The manual mode curve automatically matches to the normal speed ramp. So you only have to apply the ultra speed ramping plugin and then the ultra motion blur plugin and you're good to go. I will quickly just show you that. Here you can see the motion blur on the manual mode. You can also adjust the motion blur strength. You can adjust the motion blur type. You will have linear. That's perfect for transitions that go from right to left or up or down. You can also adjust the angle down here. You can change the type to radial, centered or the default zoom. I like to have zoom and if I want to adjust the curve I can just play around with these controls. You can also mirror the curve and invert it. But if you change the speed ramp to something like wave and you have the manual motion blur turned on then the curve will not fit with the speed ramp. So you have to change the curve or you change it to automatic motion blur. By that DaVinci will automatically detect the object and the areas in the video which have much movement and then it will apply motion blur on it. You can adjust the strength. I will just overdo it a little bit so you can see it better. And just by adjusting that you are good to go. But if you want, you can go into the advanced options and just play around with these controls. But they usually won't make much difference. I usually leave them all on the default. On the performance, you have the half resolution. That will decrease the resolution of the motion blur. So you can play it back two times faster. But I can tell that this doesn't make much difference on the resolution. So if you don't have a good PC, I would recommend to turn that on. Now that's basically all for the motion blur plugin. 
the first version of the motion blur plugin only had the automatic motion blur and the second version now has the manual motion blur. If you have any questions, just ask me in the comments and if you want this plugin, make sure to check out the first link. Also check out this video right here to see more about the speed ramping plugin. See you in the next one.